everyone, this is Jane here. So just while I was waiting for something else to dry, I thought I would pop on and show you um, something else that I've been kind of working on. Um, I've been saving up some um, packaging from Ready Meals. And not that I'm advocating eating loads of Ready Meals, but I have to eat Ready Meals because I'm not able to use my oven. So I collect these up and then I've been collecting, I, mean, I don't need all these in one go. Um, I believe I've been collecting these up to use um, as, sorry, I've got something under my nail there. That's from the last thing I was doing where I was working with paper napkin, which is black and it's got underneath my nails. Okay, so um, these are some of the bits of packaging that I've cut up and I just thought it might be quite fun to cover them in some book pages. Um, first of all, I wanna see if we, we can get rid of this um, so that it doesn't show through, but we might have to do it with a couple of sheets. So we'll see where we go with that. Um, and what I was thinking is of making like a journal, like a concertinery sort of style journal out of these. Just, that's just what's sort of ruminating in my brain at the moment so i'm gonna just use a glue stick for now and see where we get to so be sure to put it all around the edges i'm probably gonna need another glue stick i'll grab that in a minute Do the one there, and then I'm just going to grab over here a bit of um, dictionary page. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to sort of slap it right in the middle, which seems a bit wasteful, but I've got the massive, great big dictionary book, and I've got loads and loads of this paper. So, and I want all the text all over it. So I'm just gonna kind of slap it on the middle and then we can trim it off. That's gonna be a little bit wonky. That's okay, I'm a bit wonky, so we don't mind that too much. So, you know, just kind of stick it down. And then, we can trim it off. What's quite nice is, is that when you trim off against a piece of card, you can kind of almost like press your scissors up against the card. So you're not trimming the card itself, but you're right up, kind of as close to it as you can get. To be honest with you, this paper is so old and flimsy, you could probably just rip it off um but i'm not quite brave enough to do that but it is kind of tearing quite easily so you probably could probably could do that may try that at some point um but there so i kind of think it's okay i don't think you can really see through um to see what's underneath it so let me put this in my little pile of scraps to be used up and try another one. Try and get it straight this time. Okay. So go around the edges. Another bit of book page. I think this one will be okay. Should be big enough. Okay. And we're just gonna. Which side should we have? Oh, this side looks better. Right, okay, we'll have this side. And we'll go and we'll just slap it down. Okay. 
So what I would say also is I saw this um, on Pam at the Paper Outposts um, videos. Um, she cuts off the top of that if you've got like a dictionary and they can be quite handy to just put in like a... Um, a words folder or a numbers folder so you've got numbers there you've got words there so that's quite a good idea so i keep those to one side that looks a little bit straighter let's just trim this one up so just going up against the card not really cutting through it going around butting up against it okay so that's that's those pop that down there in the scraps so that's our two um, pieces. So what I was thinking is that I could do them as like a concertina type thing. So I could join these two together here. And maybe this side if they're a bit straighter. Um, so join them here with some washi tape and some glue or some fabric or... Um, sorry silk or something like that and then have that as a fold that folds this way and then attach one here that folds that way and this way and that way and this way and that way um and make a kind of concertina style thing um i thought that might be quite fun um i don't think you can see through it so that's good i don't think you can um and we could stencil over this and just really decorate it good thing about it is that the backs are blank so they'd be ideal for people to um, write on, journal on. You could stencil here. Um, you could put stamps on here. You could use, you could cover it with um, scrapbook paper or more book page if you wanted to. Um, but that's my plan with this at the moment. So I'm going to leave you be for a little while while I do the rest. Um... And then when I've done the rest, I'll come back and work out what we're going to do with them. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, this is Jane here. So just showing you really what I've done with the um, things that I covered in book page the in the first part of this video. I'm going to try and pin these two together. Hopefully that will work, but we'll see. So what I ended up with was a little kind of concertina style fold out um little thing that you could either put into another journal or that you could develop into just a little pamphlet thing um so if this is my my kind of prototype um so what i did was i sticked it up i st sticked it up i stuck it together using washi tape and uh, I used washi tape for the first few and that works really well um, and then I thought I would try some sari silk so you know the choice is yours um, you can do whatever you feel is best you will need to go in and really stick down the edges or trim it right off if you're going to use the sari silk um, I think the using washi tape is easier personally speaking um so yeah that's what i think is the easiest of the two so i'm going to take one two three four and just show you how i did it um so i got my first my first one and i got my second page together making sure they're all up the right way i did freak out at one point and thought that i'd stuck them up the wrong way but i hadn't and then we just want to get our let me just push those back a little bit i have to remember to try and put them back a bit so that you can actually see everything um 
you just want to get a bit of your of your washi tape. So as washi tape can be n sticky, but not that sticky, um, run it over your glue stick to give it a bit of sticking power. And then what we want to do is we don't want to go onto the bend really. Um, so we want to start there and just stick it down so that we're even as even as possible on either side but leaving a little gap so that it will fold and so it doesn't all bunch up and fold up on itself and then we can just snip away at the end and we can trim the little bits up in the in the end of there separately and then turn it over and do exactly the same exactly the same on this side so there we go just using an ordinary width washi tape um, if you've got some really wide washi tape that might be even better but you could use two pieces you wanted to if you felt like it wasn't very secure and you wanted to come it out a bit wider so I might actually do that on this one because as you can see these these have like a little ridge there and you might not like that that might annoy you um so you can cover that up just by getting a little piece of washi tape sticking it over like that okay so that's our first couple of pages and then what I did was I put it back together like this and I just then retrimmed this little section here and this little section here and so hopefully that then gives us a nice crisp edge okay so then the third one I put on the other way around so still making sure that the words are all up the right way but sticking the book page facing you so not the blank piece and then again just gluing it all together actually see what I'm doing Let me just stick it down so, and trimming that off and then turn over tape on the glue the only problem with doing this is you do get up very gluey fingers it's not a problem because this glue washes off quite easily but you do find that as you're working things get stuck down so it's handy to have I know I keep saying this and I always forget handy to have your baby wipes or your hand wipes nearby so that you can kind of manage your stickiness That's that little join. And really give it a good press down. Now, I don't feel that confident with that bit there because it's kind of a little bit close to the edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take a different style of washi tape just to be a bit different, um, make a bit of a feature of it. that and just pop that right on that join 
so it makes it a little bit, it just reinforces it a little bit more. Okay. So there we go. That is that one. So now we've got a little book clip that opens up. It can go, it opens, and then this one opens this way, and we've got something to write on on the back. So if you look at it as a, an item, it looks like it's all covered, but it actually opens up to have different designs. So that's that's the plan plan. You can put more on it, like the one I did before has four. I'm gonna leave this one with three for the sake of keeping the video a little bit shorter so that it doesn't take quite as long to upload. But all I did to finish it off really was to just take some ink, on an ink pad and I won't I won't show all of the ink in because you guys know how to ink things don't you or actually I tell you what I've forgotten to do is to just trim off the edges if they need to be trimmed off let's just see if they do I'm not really sure that they do to be honest I think we've, we've got that one a little bit better yeah that looks all right okay that looks all right so back to where we were. Right, okay, so that's the front, that's it. So then what I did was just to show you briefly is to just ink around the edges of the whole thing. I just used a brown ink. I've got, I think this is a walnut stain ink. I like to go down the folds to just kind of highlight them then the whole thing just looks really aged. You can do the edges. And maybe there's something here that I need to trim off a bit later, but we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that in a bit. And then I'll just go around like that. And then to, I, you, I would then do all of those just so that you can um, so it's all done. But just to show you another little helpful hint I, th I found good was to just make sure that you go around the inside of here um, and up the fold. You don't have to do up the fold, but I, I kind of quite like the way that that looks. Um, so, and I would go all the way around, but for the sake of the video, I won't waste too much time doing that. And the reason that I think it's really important to do it on the inside as well, A, because it's going to give you more aged look and we can do something with the inside to make that look more aged. But when you close it, you will get a little bit of show through because not they're not all exactly the same and they do move about a little bit because those joins are pretty solid, but they do move about. Um, if you see the inside of it, all you're going to see is something that's aged rather than something that is bright white staring out at you. So... That's my little um, extra little booklet. Um, I do need to go around and just completely finish off the ends, make sure they're all kind of stuck down because we do get a little bit of um, lifting up at the edges. Um, I'm always really careful to go right to the edges, but it still seems to happen. Um, but you can soon put a little bit of glue stick there if it's, if it's really... Um, a tiny little bit you might want to just do it with your fabri tac if you've got one of those that has a really thin nozzle that's really useful i don't have one of those but that would be really useful for that but i, I tend to just do it with glue stick and you can always put it on your finger and just try and slide it in and then get your hands all covered in glue and all of that jazz so that's my little concertina um thing um that's the con the construct of it what I'll probably do now is I'll I'll decorate it and I'll come back and do a second video just to show you what it what it looks like finished or do some of the decorating with you. Thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and um, like, subscribe, follow, all of that good stuff. That would be lovely and it would really help the, the channel to be seen. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.